only one week left for the free upgrade to Windows 10. Should we do it or not? It depends on you. But let's try to reserve Windows 10 for any future upgrades. Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to reserve your free Windows 10 copy. In this video I'm going to show you um, a quick demo at the end of the video of how you can um, check basically your activation status and how to confirm that you have your Windows 10 uh, reserved copy for free. As you all know, um, Windows 10 free upgrade will end by the end of the week, which is the 29th of July. And according to Microsoft, if you don't upgrade to this time, you will have to pay one day when you decide to perform the upgrade. And uh, I've looked around and found few articles that provide information of how you can reserve your copy even if you don't plan to use Windows 10 in the near future. And um, I might say that this is a good idea to do now because, as you all know, um, all of the Microsoft uh, products have a um, life cycle. And uh, at the end of the life cycle, the support for the products ends and Microsoft is not held responsible uh, for any issues that can happen after the um, product is out of support. And of course, the products can be uh, vulnerable and easy to attack from third-party people that uh, not always uh, wishes uh, uh, good. And um, I want to provide you with just an option of how you can overcome this headache in the future or spending X amount of money to upgrade when you can do this now for free. So, uh, basically, the three most common options that you have in order for you to um, save and reserve your up, uh, free upgrade are the, the first option is to perform a uh, upgrade to Windows 10. I know that this is not the best option to, uh, to, to do and most of you will not agree with me, but this is the easiest way and the easiest way for um, an end user to perform and Microsoft uh, recommend doing that way to upgrade and if you don't like the product you can then downgrade. Uh, I've added few steps that you need to double check in order for you to confirm that uh, you have this um, uh, reserved for you. And uh, when you perform the upgrade to Windows 10 it's always good to double check the activation status. I will show you in the demo after the presentation. and. Um, you need to be sure that you have your product is activated and you have digital entitlement with Microsoft. And what does that mean is basically Microsoft servers contain information for your computer, your hardware, and in the event of future reinstallations or upgrades, your computer will contact the servers and will re-download the product key once again. And you can play around with Windows 10 and see if that's suitable for you. Please note that uh, a lot of improvements were done. Um, I'm still waiting for the anniversary re release of Windows 10 where, where they did a lot of improvement, improvements and it will be better and better. Um, and if you don't like it, of course, you have 31 days, according to Microsoft, to downgrade to your older and preferred operating system. The other option that you have is to use a third-party software to perform an image on your disk, upgrade to Windows 10, again check the activation status, and then restore from the image to your preferred operating system. And the third option that you have is to replace the disks. And this is really not so good, <laughs> I don't really recommend it, because I had problems where I swap out disks on laptops and for some reason my activation failed after that and I had to perform another upgrade to reactivate. But this is a thing that can help in few situations. What you can do is if you have two disks, you can install uh, Windows 7 and 8 on one of the disks, perform the upgrade, 
check the activation status and swap out the disk and continue to use your preferred operating system. And um, as I was saying, um, there are a few things that you need to consider because the digital entitlement for Microsoft links your motherboard with uh, the product key or the servers that provide a product key or this digital entitlement. And if something happens with a hardware component, for example, the motherboard in the future, uh, this digital entitlement, and you replace the motherboard, of course, this digital entitlement will not recognize the new device or will recognize it as a new device and will not provide a product key. So it's a good idea and an optional step that you can perform is you can log in with your Microsoft account and you can link your current configuration to your Microsoft account. So in the future, if something happens, if a hardware component failure occur, you can always, when you fix the issue, you can log in with your Microsoft account and relink the device that you have under your account. And it will basically ask you if this is the current device that you are using. And when you confirm, in theory, it should restate the digital entitlement with the new device. But in few situations, you will have to open a ticket with Microsoft and they will have to reinstate this for you. So I'm going to switch to the um, virtual machine that I have so I can show you where you can check for the activation and where you can add your Microsoft account. So now that uh, we are on the virtual machine that I've prepared for this demonstration, the only thing that you need to do after you perform the upgrade is you need to go to settings and then open update and security and then under the activation tab you need to verify that you have uh, under activation your Windows is activated and you have a current digital entitlement with the device which means that uh, Microsoft servers and their databases contain information for your device and it will be reactivated after a clean installation for example or if you decide to upgrade in the future. The other thing that I want to show you is when you go to settings and then accounts in here you have the option to link, and this is optional, as I said, uh, you have the option to link your Microsoft account with the device that you are currently using. And there are several benefits that uh, you have with, uh, with this option and using your Microsoft account. But I will not talk uh, um, about the, 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 the benefits in this video at the moment. So the only thing you need to do is you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. Um, it will ask you to verify your email and it will automatically link the device that you are currently using with your account. So in the future, if something happens and you are not able to reactivate your Windows, you can easily go there and reactivate from there. Um, and if you have problems, you can always log a ticket with Microsoft and they will, um, they will um, fix this issue for you and your Windows will be activated. So this is the short demonstration of how you can reserve your free copy and please don't forget this is uh, going to end on the 29th of July so hurry up if you want Windows 10 in the future. Once again if you like the video you can always hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel in order for you to receive email as soon as I upload an interesting video. And um, if you have any comments you can always or questions, you can always put them in the comment section below and I will try, try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.